We'll take an inhale and lift up the arms and lower the heels. Take an inhale, lift up the arms and lower the heels. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the heels. And we'll do that two more times. Breathe in and exhale. And then one more. You got it. And let's start with a one-legged balance. So it's a cold start. Let's just see what happens. One foot comes up to tree. One, uh, the arms are going to come up. So one-legged balance. Take an inhale. Feel your ribs expand and feel your belly pull in. So we're just going to see what happens. Is that a girl? Breathe in. Feel your shoulder blades go down the back. Feel your arms grow. Good morning. We're just starting off with a one-legged balance. We did a few arms up and down, but now we're adding on just a one-legged balance. See how it goes. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Let me get us down to the other side. And if you're just joining, you can do a one-legged balance. We're doing one on each side. This is our second side, but give yourself a chance to warm up. Glad you're here. Go up. Breathe in. Hold. Shoulder blades down the back. And we'll breathe in the nose if you can. And breathe out the nose if you can. That's it. Breathing in. Holding. Letting the neck be long. Letting the shoulders be down the back. Yes, that's okay. If you end up having to put a foot down and your hand down, just join as soon as you can. Breathe in. Now, as you're ready, we're going to let the hands come down and let the hands touch to the heart. Really good job. Now we're going to add some dynamic. Take your legs into a bit of a V and we'll take a dégagé, which is the foot disengaging from the floor, or as you get warmer and as you get warmer, you can take that leg a little higher and six. Good. And seven. So what's happening here is some ab tone. Now we're going to do 10 on the other side. I just threw an extra in there. That's okay. Go up and you might get a little taller or higher in the leg as you warm up. Four and even in the arms. Five, six. So this is still balance. Seven, eight, nine. And let's change the arms out wide. Do an inner thigh across and two. And three, the leg is turned out, externally rotated, even though it's crossing the midline. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then take it to the other inner thigh, across, ten, two. And even though I'm lifting my arms, I'm trying to stay out of the neck. So we've got this long neck. Go taller as you can. Five, six, seven, hold on to the wall if you need to, eight, nine, now we're going to go to the rear. So the right leg will go back from where the glute meets the hamstring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to hit the other leg. Right foot down, left leg goes long. Hip extension. Two, good. Hips are level. Three, good. Four, glute hamstring. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to add on to that hip extension. Go to your first side so the right leg goes up. Now this time hold steady. Just try to get as close to parallel as you can. If you can get parallel, go for it. Hold ten. Five. Now stay here. If you can, bend the knee that's in the air like you're doing a hamstring curl. Curl the heel towards the fanny. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that leg comes down. Take a moment to realign and get your mind, body, breath all in alignment. Let's do the other side. Go up in the leg, down in the torso. See if you can get to parallel to the floor. And then hold, neck is long. Breathe. Now the leg that's in the air, you're going to take the heel toward the glute. Hamstring curl 10 times. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now come back up. Now on this one, we're going to do a pulse. Take your inhale, exhale, right leg goes back. See if you can go to parallel. And if you can, do 10 little po uh, pulses with your toes pointed. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Lower. And the other side, take an inhale. Sometimes these, uh, this position is more challenging. Here we go. When you get to parallel, 10 little pulses with the leg. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine and then lower your foot down Whew. now take a moment and come back to the very first move and if you were if you came in just a moment late this may be the first time you're going through the heel raises and up and up each toe has equal weight and of course we're going to be offering an option now you can continue doing this or you can grab a wall or a foam roller and I'll turn so you can see. I'm gonna wrap one foot behind the other and long knee. So one leg looks bent, but it's only cause I'm getting it out of the way. The leg that's working is long in the knee. Your hips are level. You can use the wall or the roller. Try to keep the working knee long. You're not shifting it forward. Your, your whole body should get taller. Nine. Yes, everybody's looking good. Now 10 on the other side. Good way to switch on that 10th. Go up, up, two. And also you're controlling the way down. And five, and six, seven, eight, nine now we're going to do one more set of those for 10 and 10. so you know i like to uh, mix it up and get our individual leg work because a lot of times there's a small discrepancy this will help reveal it six and help even things out seven eight good your body gets tall nine let's do the other one ten wrap the other one the foot behind the ankle your body should get taller. That's how you know you're not doing this. There's a common compensation where people just bend the knee. Your whole body should lift taller. That's how you know it's coming from the ankle joint and not the knee joint. Yes, everything I see looks good. And nice job. Now get rid of that. And you can use it if you'd like, but we're going to do a dynamic balance. So let's try to take a circle. I'm going to get more on the middle of my mat. Try to take a circle eight times for dynamic balance. Thank you, Karen. I shall cue us some agua here very soon. And take it the other way. Now, if you take it bigger, it is going to be more challenging. It's okay. Your floor is right there if you need to. Six tab. Nice. And I like how you can move the arms as an option. Take it to the other side. So you can do arms that are hugging a tree. You can do arms that also move. Choose what you'd like. Sometimes I like to mix it up. Six. Now we're doing eight. And we're working the ankle. We're pointing and flexing. Pointing and then flex so the toes don't hit the floor on the way underneath your torso. Five underneath your leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Really good job. I'm going to give us knocking on the door of life. This is a Qigong move. Good way to finish out honestly. And then we're going to grab a sip and come back here. This is one of my favorite moves. Grab a sip and come back here and we'll do a little quad stretch. We'll be taking care of the knees today. We're going to do some foam rolling on the legs in, uh, in a bit. So take your right hand to your right foot. If that doesn't work out, you can use a Dynaband or you can use a Pilates ring and do this same exercise. But we are working on one-legged balance, ribs down, pubic bone up, shoulder open, other arm forward. I'm gonna turn just so I can see you. Take that, if you would like, to add on 
the foot goes up behind you. <laughs> Ta da! If you fall, at least throw your arms up in a celebration. That's right. Five. Hey, we're going to add on, guys. Three, two. See if you can let go of that foot and go back to that warrior three, unless you're too close to the wall like I was. And balance. Ten. Take an inhale. Exhale and come back up. But up, up. Good job. All right, you know the series now. Up around, hold, <laughs> oh, this will feel good, on the upper back, on the shoulder, the chest, the quad, your jaw lane's parallel to the floor, you might lift your chin a little, looks good, there you go, breathe in, the second part could be that you push your foot into your hand, And if you are ready to go for that other one, I have to turn a little bit to get away from the wall. Extend your leg. You can extend your arms and hold. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and gently come back up. Bring your hands together at the heart. Whew. Let's add on. Now this is one, or excuse me, both arms, both arms, both arms, and one leg. Hold onto your foot or your ankle. Now if it's not working out, you can do the one hand to one foot, and if it's working out, go two hands to one foot. Ooh, try to stay stiller than I'm demonstrating. 10. <laughs> I like it if you fall, just throw your arms up. Five, four, three. All right, if you'd like to add on, standing bow pose. It's kind of like what we did earlier, but only now both arms are on the hand or, the, or both hands are on the foot or the ankle. Maybe you can get to parallel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take that inhale and gracefully Come back up and then take the other side. Go up, back, hold on to your foot with one or two hands. And the modification would be one hand. All right, here we go. You're tall, your ribs pull down. Your pubic bone pulls up. Your hips stay square. Jaw soft. Now you may just stay here or you might add on something. <laughs> I love the ta-da. All right, now you're gonna probably have to change your neck as you tilt down. You'll notice it would feel crunchy, so you just soften the gaze down. Take that inhale. Oh, and then exhale, gently come back up. Great job, grab a sip, we're heading down. And we're either gonna take a down dog or we're gonna take a dolphin. Really good job, let's open up the arms and bring it in. Hail, and on your exhale, you could be on your hands or you could be on your forearms. So this is the down dog. And this forearm position is the dolphin. Either way, if you care to add a bend one knee and bend the other, let's get those hamstrings and calves awakened. 10, five, three, and then both heels press again and hold. And then lower your knees for a moment. And you can be on your forearms here. You could even have your forearms on the arc here. You could have your hands on weights if you need a modification. But at this moment, you're gonna do a little cat-cow. 
So the, uh, keep going. I'm just going to tuck in my shirt for form so that I can show better. But your upper back, your lower back, they're all getting flexed and then they're extending and then they're flexing. Good. It should feel so good. Breathe in and you can stay right here and do this or you can do a down dog, up dog articulation. And if you're doing that, go back through the down dog, lift your heels, articulate lower back, middle back, upper back. Breathe in. Tuck your chin, upper back, middle back, lower back, heels. Go up, lower back, middle back, upper back, breathe in. And exhale, tuck, upper back, middle back, lower back, and down dog. Inhale, breathe in, and tuck. And this should feel so good on your back. And remember, you can always do a cat-cow. And one more. And then you can take a child pose or whatever opposite pose, counter pose helps you. Breathe in. And then come back up. I am going to put in a little bit of foam roller work here. So grab your foam roller. Let me just double check to see what I have. When I, I want to see what you guys have. I think everyone has one. I'm just double checking. Forearms, I'm going to start so I can see. You're on your foam, excuse me, your foam rollers on your quads. Good. Okay, good. Shereen, I could see you were in the deck. I just wanted to double check. Perfect. Okay, now you are going back and forth. So this is also plank. Now we're going to add on toe out. In other words, act like you're Charlie Chaplin and point the right toes to the white, right wall-ish and the left toes towards the left wall-ish. So you're externally rotated. Now you're going to the muscles. You're not rolling out your patella or your kneecap. You're rolling the muscles. Notice what they feel like. Back and forth. Now you have plank muscles here that we're, we're keeping engaged. We're not letting the back sag. Now I'm going to have us do a toe in variation. So now your toes try to face each other. Your toes are facing towards each other. Now you are long in the knees right now. Go towards the knee. Go back towards the pelvis. Go towards the knee. And you notice right now I'm keeping everything long. Notice what do you feel? You guys can tell me why I'm getting a strong urge of working on these knee, I'm craving knee health for us. Okay, now go pretty neutral. Your toes basically face the floor, your knees face the floor, you're pretty neutral here. Your toes are not out or inward. They're just facing the floor. All right, so far so good. Now I want you to just bias the left quad more. It's kind of like you're, you're not doing a side plank, but you're not totally 50-50 on your legs. You're more on your left quad. Woo! Tell me what you feel with your grimaces <laughs> or looks of delight. So feel that left leg. We're later gonna get the IT, so if you're craving that, don't worry, I'm gonna get it. Okay, now, now more bias the right leg and just see what you feel. There's more weight on the right quad now. Breathe in and out. You are doing a lot of mini planks here, so we're still getting the workout and we're gonna still work the body, but I wanna just make sure we're good. Okay, now roll to your left IT-ish, and um, this side, you're on your left forearm, so think side plank, and you're rolling out anywhere from that greater trochanter towards a couple inches shy of the knee. Now, this is a pretty stacked position, so I'm going to offer a very Asian where you're gently towards the floor. So that's going to get that TFL and some of that outer quad, vastus lateralis, probably that TFL up at the top pocket muscle is tight. 10, keep breathing. Now roll up towards like you're trying to look at the sky. What I'm trying to do here is get that lateral hamstring. It's all good. So if you find spots that you need beyond what I'm cueing, go for it. 
get some of that hip too. I gotta make sure I don't push my drink over. So get some of that hip. We're gonna get the figure four as well. Breathe in. Now just see how it feels. Go back to anything that you were craving. Your body will send it to you. What signals that you need. All right, take an inhale. And then try the other. All right, woo! Try the other IT. We talked about doing this, was it last week? I think it was only like a week ago. We talked about doing a little bit more for these uh, muscles. Go back and forth. Now, at this first, I'm just pretty stacked like you would be in a side plank. I'm on my bottom forearm, the shoulder blades down the back because you're using all your plank muscles. This top foot helps take some of that body weight off if it's really intense. Now we're gonna do a small deviation. Act like you're trying to look towards the floor and you'll feel more outer quad. Breathe in and out. Keep that shoulder blade down. And just keep breathing. <laughs> also roll towards the sky and get that lateral hamstring. Keep breathing. Sometimes this will make you sweat. And let's do about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then let's get that glute. So think about, and also piriformis and, and thigh. So sit on it, just sit on it, right ankle to left thigh, and shift over so you're rolling out the muscle that you're stretching. Rolling out the muscle that you're stretching. But go up high, like go to your high pelvic rim, go down to your sit bone. You can get it all. In other words, explore. Breathe in, and regrettably, we do have to be on the uh, wrist, so if your wrists are bothering you, I know we're all clever to find out ways to get it to work for you. Uh, we've got, let's see, 30 more seconds. Try 30 more seconds. This should feel, uh, this should feel really good, Catherine. You'll have to tell me later, just don't hit your coccyx, but if you, if you have um, any tightness around the low back, sometimes this helps as well. All right, just 10 more seconds, guys. Breathe in, breathe. Five, four, I hope it feels good. Three, two, now we're gonna hit the other side about a minute. So ankle to thigh, roll that out, roll that out. And you can roll out the hip. So if you've had any kind of side hip pain, this is a really good one. Go all the way up to the pelvic rim where the top of your pants are and go even towards the sit bone. That's a nice one. Roll out the side, halfway there. You're doing great. Breathe in and out. Yep, and you notice how you can find different areas. It's all good to work it in. Try 15. And sometimes you find a spot that needs it and you just stay there. All right, try 10 more seconds. All right, try five. Take an inhale and on your exhale, gently come down and just have a seat for a minute, for a moment, go like this and see what it feels like. Okay, just kind of inner assessment, go like this, see what it feels like. Okay, grab your uh, roller and just put it on the back of that armpit. Now on the back of the armpit is where the lat twist and the lat literally twist. <laughs> so you can feel this knotted or tight area and it's a big muscle. It's not all accessible with the foam roller, but it is right here. Now, if you keep rolling and you get that rear deltoid, your rear shoulder, you may feel something going on there. So all that area is good. Go back and forth. If you feel like your arms get pulled inward, your muscles are turning you in, this is a great one. So this is a fabulous one for shoulder health. 
if you feel tight in the shoulders and posture. When it's really tight, it makes the low back curve inward excessively. So if you feel like you have a sway low back or a duck back, then this one's going to help. All right, try 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You see how you're just doing little ab motions to get you in this muscle. 3, 2. Now, just for kicks and giggles, come up. And you could try one arm. All right, how's that one feel? And then try the other. Ah, it's looser, right? Even though I did my dominant arm, it's looser now than my un-foam rolled, non-foam rolled arm. So see what you feel, but let's do get it on the other one. And it, oh, I'm gonna need this one. As I went down, I could feel, it feels like even a trigger point. So armpit and see how I'm kind of um, rotating up a bit so that I can get more weight on the back of the arm. I'm not literally rolling out the armpit, although there's some tension there I can feel. Ooh. So I've been shooting my bow a lot more and uh, practicing the pistol and the PCC. So my arms are feeling it. I hope you feel it. It's a great one for posture release. Go back and forth, go back any kind of hobby or um, any kind of chores generally require these arms forward. So this is so nice. Now just notice, are you breathing? Breathe in the nose. Okay, mine was tighter than I realized. I'm wondering what you felt. You feel free to text me later. It's sort of like sometimes you don't know this area is tight until you start stretching it or you roll it. Let's do a countdown of 10 more. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then come back up. And then just to notice how it is, go up and over. Oh, thank goodness, some release. Up and over. Ah, really good, guys. So let's grab some water, just like a massage, and you get more water. We're going to release some of these. toxins that hang out in the muscles. All right, this is going to be a great one to do right after. This is swan. And because you have your foam roller, let's do a belly down. It probably felt like you needed more water after that, right? Belly down. Your arms, if you have your foam roller, can be like knives into the roller. Then you belly in, inhale, lift up, Good, and I'm gonna just have you go at your own pace. We're gonna do multiple ones. I'm gonna pivot myself too a little bit. Good, yep, I'll still be able to see you. Perfect, go up, breathe in and lower, and up, breathe in and lower, and inhale. Oh, really nice, and try your arms long, Michelle, and just see if that works out, your elbows, I mean. Yeah, that was better. So what you did, it, you naturally put the foam roller further away from you, and that helped. All right, so breathe in. Nice. Now we're going to be holding. Stay up. Try to hold 20. Lower. We're going to do one more set of 20. Here we go. Breathe in. Hold, shoulder blades are down. Inhale. And exhale, lower. And then make your arms a pillow and lift up your left leg and then your right leg. Lift up your left leg and then your right leg, a left, a right. Now either still do this or lift up both legs and do a flutter while both are in the air. Neck soft, 20 here, 10 more here, and then lower for a moment. And we're gonna do a tap. So lifting up both feet, you'll do a horizontal tap, you got it. And about 30 here, feel the neck soften. About 20 more, and about 10 more. 
breathe in and then on your exhale push back into a child pose pushing your hips back you're going to feel your low back release i'm going to add a toe under cue so your feet can get a stretch if you would like five and then we're going to come back to a swan but this time this one has no hands helping so place your hands down low <coughs> excuse me and then lift up inhale now lift up your thighs and breathe now everything is just from your back your rear delt and your glute you're not using your hands you're going to naturally a little bit go up and down And let that go and then add on. You remember how in the warm up beginning we added a hold on to your foot cue? We're going to do that with one or two feet. You may be able to do two feet even if you normally only do one just because we've opened up the quads. So if you'd like to try this one, go for it. If you need to do one foot, we're going to do two sets, so don't worry. Hold. We're going to let go, relax, but we are going to do another set, either the other foot or both feet again. Here we go. And recover. All right, a child pose. Push your hips back. Let your low back rest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really good job, guys. Grab a sip. We're going to touch some planks here. Nice job. You can use your foam roller if you'd care to on the shin side of your mat, or you can just do this on the floor. The, if you're on the foam roller, I really like a toe inversion so that you're on your shin and not your bone. Lift up your hips. Here we go. Hold. And just kind of make sure everything's good. If it is, add on a shift forward and a shift back by rolling your shin just about two inches. Roll forward and back, keep your knees long. About five more, four, good. Three, two, and recover. And we're gonna turn sideways. This is gonna be a side plank. Go into an arm high. And if you're on your roller, it's okay to stagger or stack, 10. Now breathe and stretch out that hand, stretch out that body, inhale, lower the hip down, and we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to turn my whole body so that I can see you. Great. Forearm down, and here we go, side plank, and lift, and your head's up against an imaginary wall. You guys are looking great. Stretch out everything, breathe in and exhale, lower. Really good. If you can, do a reverse plank. If you cannot, you might like a bound angle or a front plank again on your forearms, 10, or reverse table, nine, eight, seven, six, there you go, five, four, three, two. Now lower for a moment, hold on to your little toes or your feet or something and hover your feet so right now my feet are off the ground you could stretch out and try to balance as well shoulders down <laughs> Ta -da! breathe in yeah 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 you're gonna want to make sure that you're comfortable come in maybe uh, like a, a little hamstring stretch good and then shall we go for it Betty go out three times in three times breathe in two and one hot dog guys really good take uh, take a sip before we grab it 
I almost wanted to do the scales pose again. That would be fun. Okay. Now use your abs to go down, or if you need to meet down quickly, go for it. So take an inhale, and on your exhale, about 10 seconds if you're doing that challenge. And then let your feet go on through the roller. Curl your lower back a vertebra at a time. Curl your lower back down and curl your low back up. And breathe. And up. And inhale. And exhale. So you've got this uh, articulation, articulation going on. Good. Knees in line with your ankle. Now, if you care to be uh, adding on, you can add a little pulse, maybe two inches at the top. All right, if you care to add on and you have a foam roller, push that roller out and in a bit, like the length of your foot or so. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. If you point your toes down, it, it hurts more. 3, 2, now rest. Take your right leg up and hold it. Now, if you want to add on to this, lift up your torso and extend your other leg and make it a hamstring stretch. If you do not, just hold your hamstring stretch. Hold this 10. This is a really a yoga pose, Utita Padangusasana. You got it. One leg's off the floor or off the foam roller. So lift the left leg if you want to do that. Now switch it up. You're either doing a hamstring stretch, I'll show that, where you're just feeling the hamstring getting longer, or if you want to add on, you could reach up for your toe, your right hand goes to your right leg, and you hover the right foot above the floor, above the foam roller. So you choose your option. This is an abdominal option, if you're doing that. Five, four, three, two, now inhale, and on your exhale, recover. And you can take happy baby here, five, that should feel really good. Four, three, two, and then one. Now we're gonna let our feet go back to the floor or to the foam roller. Curl up, and once you're up, lift up a leg. Now can you lower your pelvis till it hits the floor? And then lift it up again. Lower your pelvis till it hits the floor, and then lift it up again. Lower till it hits, and lift and four, and point the other foot down, the other toes down, if you want more intensity. So the foot that's on the roller points down a bit. Now we switch it up, that foot comes on the roller, the other one goes up. You go up, all the way down, two, all the way down, three, four, five, six, I'm gonna have to finish that on the floor, that hamstring wants to cramp, eight, nine. Now take a happy baby, Hold, and if you can add on, stretch out your legs like a big V. Now a big V is gonna be a deeper intense stretch on the inner thigh, you choose. <laughs> there goes the foam roller. Inhale. Now we're gonna do five roll-ups, but if you need to modify, if you have a tailbone that's fractured, if you have osteoporosis, you can modify by doing bridges, because bridges are excellent, and if you're doing the roll-up, you can come up, and over and roll down. So we're doing five of something healthy for you. Two. Yes, I like it. Three. Four. And five. Awesome. Guys, I'm going to have a stay up. So the next time you're seated, stay there. Grab a sip if you'd like and get your foam roller if it happened to roll away, although I see that you got it already. <clears throat> now more fun and excitement. The foam roller is at the foot end and your forearms are on the other end. We're going to have either a plank or a, an inchworm. You choose. Forearms down. Bring the foam roller closer to the knee side of your shin, but it's still on the shin. Bend your knees underneath and extend. Bend your knees underneath and extend. Bend your knees underneath and extend. In and out and in and out 
and in, and three, two, and one. Now rest any way you need to. The next one's gonna be a hip lift, so you're basically doing a pike or a dolphin. <laughs> I have to adjust the britches. Here we go, forearms down. Now this time, lift your hips up and then back to plank. Lift your hips up and back to plank. And lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and three more, two more, and recover. Now, if you care to add on, we're gonna be, um, you can always do plank as a backup plan, but if you wanna do knees corner to corner, it's an inchworm, so it's more obliques. Forearms down, legs long, pull the knees towards the left elbow and then straighten them. Pull the knees towards the right elbow and then straighten them. Left and then plank, right elbow plank, left elbow. All right, try four more. Four, three, two, and one, and recover. Woo! So the temperature gets up, doesn't it? I'm gonna tell you what the next one is while we're recovering. It's gonna be a hip hike, uh, the dolphin, but to an oblique angle. So dolphin left, plank, dolphin right, plank. Here we go. Plank, now lift your hips slightly more left, and then do plank and slightly more right, and then do plank, slightly more left, slightly more right, go up, knees long if you can. Yes, good. All right, four more. Three, two, and one, and recover. And rest here. Woo. And then we're gonna be adding on a side plank. Now on this side plank, you can stay put or you can add six thread the needles. So please choose what you would like to do. Another way to do this is off the foam roller and on the floor, but your adding on would look like a rotation, a stretch, a rotation, a stretch, a rotation, a stretch, two, one, and then inhale. Now as you exhale, lower your hip down. Terrific, go to the other side. Your, your feet, your ankles are on the foam roller. With your exhale, here we go. Rotation is the possible add-on. Two, breathe in. Three, I like to add this stretch right here at the top. Four, where the arm goes further back. Five. Six. Now we're gonna lower down. Nice job. And this time, we'll go to a lateral flexion. Six. Four on one side. Feet on the roller or the floor, go up and over, six. Now I think of a big rainbow or like you're catching some stars. Big expansive arm. So while I was lost in that imagery, I may have done it on an extra one, that's okay. So if I ever lose count, I try to do one more instead of one less. All right, so other side, six, paint the rainbow, catch the stars. It's a big stretch. Even though you're working, you're trying to sneak in these stretches. Two, these reaches. Three, expansion. Four, five, six. Really good, let that down. Take a sip and super good. I wanna throw in what seems like the one I'm betting you're craving. The foam roller goes on one end, the feet go on the other. And um, I just held my foam roller so it wouldn't get away because I do want it on my back. And I'm gonna lift the hips, kind of like you would in a bridge. And I know that I'm looking at you, but I'm also deliberately tucking my chin for a moment. I'm adding a little flexion in the spine as you roll your rhomboids out, you're going on the high part of your upper back. You, you can feel the scapula where they, the rhomboids where they attach to the scapula. 
Now I want you to deviate right a little bit. So you're more on the right side of your upper back and your shoulder blade. Now try deviating left for a little bit. And try doing a back in the center, but it's a bit of a back bend. So do an extension and your hands are helping your head. So your head shouldn't hurt, your neck shouldn't hurt. So you're now just finding what feels good to you. Back and forth, five, four, three, two, and one, and then come back up. Whew, nice. And I'm going to give us another, you guys have to email me later because I've got a big strong that urge that somebody needs knees, but this one's going to help the knees too. So take your inner knee, um, I should say inner thigh out. You know how we do frog? It looks like frog. So you see how my roller's underneath my inner thigh muscle? And I'm, I'm going to get the other one later. Don't worry that you're only on one. And kind of roll, you know, maybe five inches towards the green. Now let me turn so you can see more what's going on. This other leg, watch how I can lift up my knee and like a, like a right leg is in a plank. I'm kind of rolling out. That way I put more body weight on that left inner thigh. There's muscles on the inside of the inner thigh that cross the knee, like the magnus, the inner hamstring, and the, so the adductor magnus is probably what you're feeling. And just roll it out about 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one. Now let's go to the other side. Take your, it's like a frog pose. Take your right inner thigh on the roller. Now watch how I do my left leg. I curl the toes under and lift up. Almost like my left side of my body is doing a plank. My right side's getting rolled with the foam roller. I have all my Pilates cues on. The shoulder blades are down the back. The, um, Scapula are wide, they're not collapsed. My belly's lifting. It's like frog pose on the foam roller. The right foot could be on the floor or it could be, the knee could be so bent that the foot's on the foam roller. Oh, I didn't know my right inner thigh was tight. Let's take 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Um, try your bound angle for a moment. How are you doing? And just stretch out the inner thighs that don't cross the knee. We're going to do the other ones too. Relax your neck and your... <laughs> Any, any kind of tension, 10. And then take your long inner thigh stretch. So the legs go long and you're yeah, reaching for the feet or the shins or the toes and then let your neck relax. Take an inhale and then come back up. And let me just show you one more. Uh, this is your psoas. This one's tight, Karen. This will be really good for you. 
uh, right in here, so you have a hip bone, a hip bone, iliac, right here, these are your hip bones. Inside, there's a muscle called the iliacus. You can put that foam roller in it. So it's gonna look like this, but because there's no body weight on it, it doesn't feel like anything. So I have to lie down on it so that the foam roller kind of goes right in that hip pocket. So I'm gonna, okay, there it is. It's not a big one, right? Cause the foam roller edge or circle is in, it's on the inside of my iliac, which is a hip bone. There's a muscle that's on the anterior side of that. So I don't even have to move, I just have to rest because I'm on it. Betty, do you feel any muscle there? Yeah, if you tighten up your abs, you won't feel it. So you don't hear me say this much, but relax your abs. <laughs> Could you feel like if you laughed, it went away, it tightened up. But if you relax and kind of give in, now I'm gonna actually put my arms, that was good, Michelle. If you put your head on your arms, you kind of relax more, right? Everything says, oh, okay, you want me to relax. Now, can you feel, just adjust it a little bit. We'll just hold it 10 more counts. Take an inhale and then exhale, come up. And this is gonna affect the back too. So it's gonna affect your psoas. So now, or the uh, sacrum area, the piriformis. Now, turn, I just moved to the foam roller over because what I'm doing is I'm gonna dig it. I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> on the inside of this iliac bone. So I'm gonna lie down now, cause I gotta do it with my body weight. And I'm gonna get it as close to the inside of that iliac bone. And then I'm gonna tell my body to relax. You should feel some sensitivity in there. Ten. And then come back up. Nice. See how you feel? Take a right foot forward. And I may turn so you can see me. I'm going to be turning, so don't worry. I'll give the cues and then I'll turn. But right foot forward, like a kneeling, uh, kneeling proposal pose. And then tuck your chin. Pubic bone up, ribs down. Now I'm going to turn so you can see. I'm right here. I'm trying to stretch my front pocket. I'm gonna look at you, yeah. If you're, yeah, really pull your pubic bone up and your ribs down. It's like someone punched you right here. Breathe in, and then bring it uh, other side. So now you're in kneel, now your left foot's forward, and you see it's kind of just underneath me. Now, uh, I like to think of a waterfall, tuck your chin, pull the ribs down, pull the pubic bone up, it's not a big lunge back here, right? It's a different pose. Good, pull up, hands on top. So let your four, uh, hands be here. I'm gonna look. Uh, lift up your upper back just a little bit. Now, yeah, put your, yeah, upper, yeah, there you go. Upper back, yeah. Uh, we're going to take one more, and this one you're more used to. Put the foam roller underneath your psoas. So you know how we do a bridge, but then we put this underneath? So I'll call it supported bridge, but to make it harder. So here's supported bridge, but to make it harder, you can put both legs out or one at a time. I'm going to offer both. The foam roller is underneath the tush crease, and relax your lower back. Relax your low back. Breathe low in the belly. Let your hip flexor, the area that we just had the foam roller in, the area that we just did that psoas stretch, just uh, let it go. Let it go. I also like to toe in a little bit here, my feet, because that encourages an open SI joint. Relax your neck. Relax the hips. Relax the low back.
Notice how it feels. If you carefully just gently slide your feet up and then move the foam roller, it should feel a lot looser in there. Nice. We're going to take the right knee over and do a knee down twist and keep the right arm out like a T. It's uh, a, like a Y or a T. Relax. Nice. Take an inhale and exhale. Go to the other side, knee down, twist. Hold that knee, left arm out. Take another inhale. Now on your exhale, you're going to come up to a seated position. You're going to use any kind of position you want and go over. Now this time we're going to hold it. So you can do, so I'll just show a crisscross. Here's a um, mermaid. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can just enjoy. Yeah, I'm just showing any kind of leg position. And we want to uh, notice there is a new length in that armpit where we opened up that lat, go up and over. So you want your body to entrain with that new opening. Coming up, we also opened up the upper back. Breathe in, breathe in and lift your heart. And then just take a moment to sit any way you want to and just lift up through your spine but without any effort. Let the shoulder blades go down the back. They might feel a little easier. It might feel a little easier just to be open here. The head feeling lifted. Just take a moment to entrain with that new released body, that feeling of, of strength and relaxation. So as you're in this place and training with this place of strength and relaxation, it's like a calm strength or a calm determination. You recognize earlier if something in your environment or even a thought in your mind makes your fascia tense or makes your mind tense, you'll recognize it earlier and you'll want to go back to this homeostasis earlier just by refocusing your thought or breathing or remembering this homeostasis and coming back to it. So you're the director of your thoughts. You are, uh, thoughts sometimes feel like they're thinking you, but we're the thinker of the thoughts. So we're going to make an intention that we like this place of strong determination, this calm and strong. And when we notice our body starts to deviate, it's okay. We can just refocus and come back into this place of strong and calm by refocusing the mind, calming with the breath. With so much appreciation to you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you feel good. I know that was a little bit more foam rolling and a little less Pilates. Thank you so much. Okay, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Good. Everything feels better. I'm so glad. Thank you guys. Thanks so much.